Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the Tourism Council of Thailand. And I've had a number of people send me some emails here recently where they've said, yeah, you know, I'm reading conflicting things from like TAT, the Tourism Authority of Thailand, and the TCT, the Tourism Council of Thailand. And a, so I decided I'm, I wanted to make a series of videos to kind of get into this. So this is actually from the Thailand Tourism, or the Tourism Council of Thailand, which can be found at thailandtourismcouncil.org. And this is their about page, quoting directly, Tourism Council of Thailand. The Tourism Council of Thailand was established in December of 2001 to be the representative of all tourism industries, industry operators, which would create benefits in terms of systematic cooperation between the related organizations, both public and private sectors, it is to propose important guideline policy, promote quality verification system, standard system, and quality assurance system of the businesses related to the goods or services for tourists, and to encourage the tourism industry operators to carry out the operation with quality, morality, and ethics so as to promote the efficiency and development of this industry. So clearly, the Tourism Council of Thailand is designed, if you will, in much, it, I, I would view it as almost a trade association, akin to, maybe, maybe that's not quite parallel. And it's different from the Tourism Authority of Thailand. As we've noted in another video, the Tourism Authority of Thailand is, is a, an organization under the Tourism Ministry that has a mandate to promote tourism. It's kind of a different thing. Its legacy organization goes all the way back to 1924, clearly almost a century old, well, at least 80 years older than the TCT which was founded in 2001. But the way that I look at this, a lot of people have said, look, the Tourism Council is saying very sort of, lack of a better term, pessimistic things about tourism, whereas TAT is sort of not saying these things or being more optimistic. That's the wrong way to look at it. Understand, Tourism Council of Thailand is there, to, it's a trade organization. So they're talking about things that might be even more at a grassroots level of tourism providers in Thailand compared to TAT, which is kind of taking a top-down approach coming from the government side of things. The other thing to understand, TAT is there as a promotional organization to promote tourism to Thailand. TCT, as I said, is more akin to like a trade organization. So when, for example, the tourism sector of Thailand is suffering, as it has, for example, in the last few months in response to COVID, not few months, like nine months, since this whole COVID situation has come down the pike, the, the TCT, they're going to they're gonna be airing some of the grievances or, or uh, concerns of the tourism industry. It's a different kind of organization. So when you see things that seem to be, there almost seems to be a kind of cognitive dissonance among the publications regarding tourism in Thailand, and you'll see TCT says this, TAT says that, they may not necessarily be in conflict, they're just sort of coming at things from a different angle.